ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? Welcome back to the workshop on today's episode because we have a secret and very exciting project coming up tomorrow. I'm going to be using all of this equipment. We're going to be taking some steel and we're going to be making some tooling for all of these tools so that we can make tomorrow's project, which you're very much going to enjoy. So thanks for joining me and enjoy the show. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start loading up the forge. This is a piece of two and a quarter inch round bar. Uh, this happens to be 1040. I'm going to forge it square and then we're going to go into the bandsaw with it. And speaking of bandsaws, I'm also going to take this piece of steel here and we're going to cut this off. Okay, so the blade has just snapped. I guess it got jammed in something. Thankfully, I have another one, so I'm going to replace this now. Ugly Dugly, the saw is back up and running. I'm now going to make this round piece of steel square. Right, this piece is all, oh, it's all cut off, great. And I'm now gonna take one of these and we're gonna make a punch for the hydraulic press. So this is that piece I just took out of the bandsaw. I'm laying it on another piece of steel and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna weld this, put it back in the bandsaw, slice it on the diagonal. Great, so this is ready to go back in the bandsaw. But before we put it back in the saw, I'm gonna forge that punch and forge a drip. Okay, so I'm now gonna take this. This is an oxy fuel cutting torch. I'm gonna cut out this plate here. That's gonna be the plate that we weld on a punch to put on the press. Right, now I'm going to break these off. I can now grind these, but first, I'm going to take this piece that I just forged out. We're going to weld this on and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to slice it down. Right, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to grind off those welds, square that up, and then it's on to welding it together. What I'm gonna do is I'm that punch that I forged a little while earlier. Or we are gonna cut it off the bar and then we're gonna weld it to the plate that we just made. So here is the punch here is the plate with the holes that'll fit in the hydraulic press. What I'm now going to do is, because I'm trying to teach myself how to TIG weld, I am gonna TIG weld this onto that plate, so that's gonna be fun.
Well, hey, that was super exciting. Check that out. This was my first time uh, walking the cup on anything seriously. And oh my goodness, that was fun. A massive, massive thank yous are in order for all of your wonderful help and advice on the last TIG welding practice video. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for all the tips. Really helping. I, I think that, you know, it's lots of practice to do, but I'll eventually have this nailed. I apologize with being so sporadic with the order of things today. That's just how it goes when you have a million things to do. Anyway, I'm now going to take this piece of flat stock. This is, oh, I'd say three by three quarters of an inch. And I, I don't have a slot punch for the power hammer here. I think I left one at the workshop, at the old workshop. I'm going to do something I've never done before. And I'm going to do something that I would have never let myself do in the past. I'm going to torch a slot in there. And then I'm going to hot drift it open. Hopefully this works well. I think it's going to work pretty, pretty, pretty well. And you know, as a, as a quick and dirty way when you don't have the tooling and you don't want to make the tooling just yet, I think this is a good way of doing it. So once I start my, uh, once I start my propane flame, just like that, then what I'll do is I will open up the oxygen ever so slowly over here. There we go. And now when I hit the bypass, it pushes oxygen through. And it pushes oxygen through at the full pressure of the hose. So what I'll do is I'll heat that up, hit the bypass, that shoots a jet of oxygen through, punches a hole, and then it will burn its way through. So, you know, you'll hear people referring to this as, you know, burning through plate, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'm preheating where the cut is gonna go. That way it's all a little bit toastier. Now where I'm gonna blast on through, we're gonna let it get uh, hot enough that we're just bubbling the surface. Almost there. And then I will poke a hole right about now. We've got a hole in it. Now we'll draw her back and we'll start making that slot. And there we go. That's a very un-blacksmith way to make a slot. And a very ugly slot at that. Anyway, let's throw it in the fire and drift it. Oakley Dougley, so as this whirlwind of confusion over what is happening today continues on, I thought I would give a little recap. So what I've just done, what I just forged was, uh, was a hole. So what that's for is that that goes, the punch goes through the hole into the... No, 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 no. What I just forged there was a release hole, i.e. it has that bend in there, I'm going to weld it to a piece of plate, and the punch will go through that hole into the hot material, punching the hole. Then as the punch comes up, that hole will release it. So this is obviously going to be for punching the hole in something or other in tomorrow's secret project. These pieces here, dies for the uh, Sahin Le Power Hammer I have, I now need to drill some holes in them so they fit the little kind of homemade die system that I have there. So of course I have put some blue die my favorite color, on these pieces of steel and we're going to use the mill. I need hole centers 60 mil apart in the middle of both these things and then what we're going to do is we're going to weld on some 16 millimeter round studs and then that'll drop right into that little die system that I have.
Ugly Dirkly. So right now, those holes have been drilled and it's ready for us to make the little pegs that'll go in the hole. This is a piece of hot rolled stock. The thing about hot rolled stock is it's very rarely actually round. There's actually a big old lip right there. It's overlized and it's often oversized, which means that it won't fit in the 16 millimeter round hole that I've just made. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into the Colchester student lathe and we're gonna quickly take a little shim off the uh, diameter of all of these and then part them off. So I've got all these pegs, I've turned them down, I've ground a little chamfer on them, they all fit in here. We're now going to weld from the top, nice and heavy, in all of these while it's held in the die that will in fact go in the power hammer. Gonna use the MIG welder, cause then I can lay down a hell of a lot more filler material and uh, get more penetration. I think that's appropriate, let's do this. is in the press. So I then got back to cutting the plate, drilling the holes, and getting ready to mount this in here so I could align up this piece of steel there. I then very smugly roll over here with the 10 mil bolts, thinking that this will screw right in. And of course, it's a 12 mil. And I don't have any 12 mil bolts, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of threaded rod, um, and I'm going to cut it. We're gonna weld the end there real fast with the MIG welder, never weld galvanized steel. Thankfully, I've got that respirator, and it's just a tiny little bit. Um, we're gonna weld it on there, and then we're gonna use these as the bolts to tighten this down before we then weld that on here in the right place, and we're done. So there we go, this is now welded on here. That's ready to be bolted in the press and it's ready for the project that you're gonna see me do tomorrow. So make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you tune in tomorrow because we're gonna have a lot of fun using all of this equipment to make a project that's gonna be so cool. I will see you then, have a fantastic evening. Remember there are two videos right there that you can watch. Hit subscribe if you're new, what are you waiting for? Do it because you're gonna love what you see tomorrow and have a fantastic day. I said fantastic a lot. Oh well, fantastic.